My name is Daniel Kio and I work on the biosphere atmosphere interactions and in climate change. We all know that we are experiencing um, uh, global uh, change that includes uh, global warming. And we know that we are playing a role in these changes, particularly due to the large amounts of fossil fuel that we burn and uh, as a result increase the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. We are interested in the changes in CO2, the rate of changes, what controls them, and uh, how can we predict uh, the changes in the future. Half of the carbon that we know we emit to the atmosphere actually does not stay there. It cannot escape to space because we have gravity, so what is not in the atmosphere must be reabsorbed either by the ocean or by the land biosphere. In the land biosphere, surprisingly, the amount of carbon that is absorbed is not diminishing, it's actually increasing. The percentage remains constant, which means that absolute amount is increasing. And this is an enigma. We don't really know what controls this, but we know that this has a big effect on the rate of increase of CO2 concentration in the atmosphere and therefore the rate of climate change. So we need to know uh, exactly what controls the, the land uh, sink and that's what we are doing. In 2000 we decided we want to take advantage of our location and we set, set up a research station in the largest uh, pine forest in Israel, in the Yatir forest, which is uh, unique not only because it's the only station in the semi-arid region globally, but it's also at the very edge of forest uh, expansion. We call it uh, the dry timber line. We found that a forest in the semi-arid region can absorb carbon as much as forests in temperate zone, like Europe. Uh, that was unexpected because of the lack of water, because of the stressful conditions. But it turns out that the forest developed all sorts of tricks. We really put the semi-arid uh, region on the map in terms of carbon seen globally. After we spend a lot of time in understanding how the Yatir forest works, we realized that this doesn't give us the complete picture because of this steep climatic gradient. We needed to move. We uh, got uh, Robert Lewis and Cathy Wills providing uh, generous funding uh, to build a mobile lab that actually allow us to move everything we had in Yatir all around the country, from the north of Galilee with a high precipitation, down back to the Yatil station that uh, continued to work all the time. There are different types of mobile lab, but the one that we have is still a unique one. The results of our studies indicate that the semi-arid region can be an important carbon sink, unlike what we uh, thought in the beginning. And we also uh, provide the lessons to other countries that are undergoing warming and drying trends, that there is hope that the forest will adjust and will continue to absorb carbon in large amounts which is very critical to us because it gives us a major discount on our emission and gives us time to plan the steps to avoid climate change. We also need to know this because if the carbon sink in the biosphere will diminish, then the changes in the atmosphere will be much more rapid and we have to be prepared for this.